I must say that the Catholic Church has the uh, habit of keeping under the key, <laughs> under key uh, information that could cause a scandal. And therefore, the information was a bit more difficult to find. However, I did receive collaboration uh, from the church, especially at the Archdiocese of Regina, where I found interesting information. And I found that uh, women, uh, nuns, were quite open to dialogue with me. So that was interesting. And also, I did some research in the Saskatchewan archive boards, and I found there uh, the ledgers that they keep in the church signed by the priests who do baptism or marriage and so on. So that helped me put together uh, the order of the, acti the, the time, the chronology of the events. So I could do it. It was a puzzle, but uh, it's manageable. When I was doing the research, at some point, some information was missing. And uh, firstly, because Part of the story was a secret and remained a secret to this day. So when I did not have data and I had a space, I had to put hypotheses forward to explain what was happening. And, uh, but as a writer, I had to be honest that this was an hypothesis from my part. And therefore, I indicated in the writing that uh, by saying, for example, we can think that, which implies that it is an hypothesis from my part. So that's how I dealt with it. Of course, there's always a danger to make an hypothesis. It can make the story change. But I didn't have the choice at some point. But I was very honest throughout. It was very clear that it was uh, an hypothesis from the author. How or why he returned to the church is not an easy answer because human heart is not simple. And I felt there was more than one reason why he, he went back. I think one reason was that um, he was in his 70s uh, with three children below 12 years old. And at the time, uh, there was no uh, insurance to help you live once you're older. You had to work until you die. And so it was, a, it was difficult for him to, when he was looking at the future, to see the responsibility that he was facing. So maybe this has played in his decision. The other, the other factor that I think is the most key factor in this is that we must not forget that he was a priest at heart and priest one day, priest forever. And uh, I think he believed that he was living in sin since, uh, uh, for one, he didn't ask the permission to leave the church. And secondly, he had not married Marie-Louise. So in principle, according to his understanding, uh, he was living in sin. And therefore, uh, maybe he thought he would lose his soul and go to hell if he doesn't go back to church. So I think this played in, uh, in his decision.